Tunubu did not allow the pressure from his party men in Abuja to undermine the peace in Nigeria. Dr. Ononuju speaks. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Well, pol political analyst Dr. Kach Ononuju has commended President Bola Tunembu for resisting pressure from party members and critical stakeholders in Abuja to derail the judgment being made by the justices of the Supreme Court. He acknowledged the positive impact of the judgment as it has helped in maintaining peace in states like Kano, Zamfara, and Plateau. He applauded the recent action of the Supreme Court, emphasizing the importance of preventing politicians from manipulating and controlling the judiciary. He urged the necessity of curbing such attempts to hijack the system, particularly by those aligned with the ruling party. He expressed approval of the Supreme Court's recent ruling in Delta State, asserting that they align with expectations and contribute to the overall stability of a state and the country. He said in an interview with Arise TV, if you understand what the Supreme Court has been doing since last week, we need to stop allowing the politicians to hijack the system by actually conquering the judiciary and seizing it simply because they enjoy the presence of the party in power. I commend the president for what I believe has been going on since. Tenbo did not allow the pressure from his party men in Abuja to undermine the peace of my the peace in Nigeria. You have seen it in Kano, Zamfara, and of course in Plateau. So for a state like Delta that is actually a diverse state of different ethnicities, I believe that we have seen is the right thing. I believe what we have seen is the right thing. Nobody is surprised about what happened. The Supreme Court made the right decisions. Well this person is talking about how um this person is talking about how you know it is okay the judgment in Kano states the judgment in plateau state and all of that and to me that is the right thing to do it is the right thing to do mm -hmm. you know Kano uh, go, uh what's it called governor Kaba yusuf you know him and the, the all progressive congress you know Governorship candidates, they have been at larger heads. They have been going, you know, to this court, from APL court, to Supreme Court, from Supreme Court, to this one, to that one. You know, that is what has been going on. And so, we are actually surprised. Yes. Believe you me, I'm surprised that it happened. Though it is not a thing to be surprised of. If you ask me, this is how it is supposed to be. Like I said, unfortunately, abnormality is now the new normal in Nigeria. Abnormality is now the new normal in Nigeria. In the sense that we see what is right to do, we refuse to do it. You understand? It's no longer done. Abnormal is now normal. Normal is abnormal. But, you know, like I said, I'm surprised that it is even coming from EPC. If you ask me, I am so surprised. That it is coming from APC. You get, like I said, I'll, I'll keep saying it. Normal is supposed to be normal. Normal thing to do is when the Supreme Court talks about this, the Supreme Court rules in favor of what is right, which is the person that actually won the election, the person the people gave their mandate to, becomes the person who, you know, the Supreme Court and the appeal court say, you know what, give it to the person that the people, you know, Give the mandate to not the person that is telling you, Don't worry, I'm going to give you two hundred thousand dollars. Don't worry, five hundred thousand dollars. Don't worry, do it for me. You're going to be getting a million dollars. Do you understand? The most the right thing to do is the person the people give their mandate to is the person who gets to rule them. So to me, it is happening in APC. That is why I'm surprised. You know, coming from people who in the past few months they've all been, you know collecting and collecting and collecting in the past few months they have all been collecting as in they'll go to this state they'll conquer episode conquer this state they'll go to another state they'll conquer that is why it is surprising to someone like me that's pdp i said pdp apc 
will actually come out and do this. Come on, do this. And I was surprised. I was surprised. Though the same thing cannot be said about Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State, now they are rioting. In fact, I think about a few persons have been injured, and I think one person. I don't know if one person died, but I knew that some one person was actually shot. But unfortunately, we cannot see the same for Nasarawa. Nasarawa, they did not uphold the mandate the people gave to the person they gave to. They actually opposed it. They gave it to the person who, you know, the people say do be them. The people say no be them give. So that is why it is surprising to me that actually this can actually happen from this same APC. Are you seeing it? So in some states they are actually jubilating. In Kano State they are jubilating. In Plateau they are jubilating. In Delta they are jubilating. But in Nasarawa, are you people seeing it? Nasarawa people they know they don't get joy right now. They give them person we see they no see they no vote for. And you know, the normal thing to do is normal, normal. Elections have nothing to be decided, as in it has no business to be decided. The outcome of election has no business to be decided in the court. Why? Now the people come outside. These people left their houses, left everything they were doing. When they said, oh, it is time to register, they rushed out. They made sure they registered. Do you understand? They go through the tedious, uh, what's it called, the stress of going out registering and you know after the registration they say oh don't worry come back for your card they went back after all the whole up and down they got their card and then election day they also left the houses they stayed in the scorching sun people will stay under rain stay under rain people will stay for there till evening they stay till evening and you're not coming them coming to tell them that all that thing they did was just for what for nothing come on now it's painful it's really painful. So the, 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 the right thing to do is to, at election point there, should be they have beavers now. Uh -huh. After, you know, you accumulate results and everything, that result that you got from that place should determine. There is no beavers for crying out loud. When they have accumulated the results, the whatever result they get from the accumulation, I'm not saying the manipulation. No. I'm not saying the one that they will write five and somebody will go and write 15. You understand? Somebody they will write oh, somebody have five votes here. You're not going to write fifty one or you're not going to write five hundred. No. Do you understand? Uh -huh. It is not to be like that. It is supposed to be you get fifty one or after they accumulated the good the real figure that was gotten, they now decide, oh, this is the person that won. That is how it's supposed to be. But unfortunately, the reverse is the case in Nigeria. That is why people are now seeing the abnormal to be the normal. All right, on those notes, you have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.